Hey guys, good morning. We're here at Kennessee Lakes. Um, here's where we're parked. It's been raining for two days straight, so we've got puddles of water, but we've got a nice site here. We're actually leaving today because we only booked this place for two nights because we're just staying here on our way over to Buchanan, Michigan. We're going to stay over there near a friend. There is um, the lake there. This is called Kennessee Lake. I wanted to show you this pretty little spot. We could have actually stayed in this spot, I think. But we uh, didn't make a big fuss. We weren't going to go in the water or anything. It's kind of chilly. Well, there we are. Got a really nice large yard. Plenty of room. Yeah, so we're going to stop at one other place before we get to Bear Lake. It's actually a trails collection park. We're just going to stay one night. So I might do a quick little review while I'm there. But this one, after we were here, we kind of thought maybe we should stay longer. Because they have like all these covered bridges. It's uh, wine country over here. We're in um, Ashtabula, Ohio. Ashtabula County. Yeah, we've never done like a covered bridge tour, so I thought that would be fun. Okay, so we're on this row right here. And the, there we are. There's a huge field back there, just past that other row. Goes all the length of the park, and then I think on that end, there's another whole section to the park. It seems like it's real small, but then I looked over and there's like another whole section. Come on. Yeah, there's um, water puddles everywhere, and Bando's wanting to play in them. <laughs> We're going to just go look at the uh, look at the bathhouse here, and then we'll stop at the pool on the way out. Here we are at the bathhouse. They have the men's and women's on the same side, it looks like. So yeah, let's just take a quick peek. Got a tiny little vanity. Nice and clean. A place to get ready over here. And they have two shower stalls. Let's just take a peek. And, ooh, those are nice. Look at that. We used our RV because we were only here for a couple of nights. Yeah, they've got a handicapped one and then a regular one. And then two toilet stalls. When you come in, this is the first road that we're on. And it's one way, but it's kind of tiny over here. The uh, spots are actually pretty large, but the roads, they're simple, and I like that. So, nice and large site right there, and we're going to try to go find the pool. I always wonder if the sites that are really nicely landscaped, real simple, clean, minimal, if these are actually um, annual sites or just camping sites. For the average Joe. <laughs> All right, we made it to the Center Commons area, which is nice and large. Looks like there's a dog park over there in the fence. And we have a dumpster over here and the dump station. There's the office over there. And lots of room to play. Oh, that's a little park, I think. So we made it over here to the commons area. There's also a fishing lake over there. And the main playground is way over there by the pool. So we'll get a look at that on the way out because we're about to pack up and leave. Kind of sad, kind of wanted to stay here longer. Um, we would, but then I would have to change the reservations that we have at the one place that we're staying for one night and I don't know, it's just kind of a pain to do that. And we want to spend some time with our friend who is also going to be in at the RV campground that we're going to. So we want to be there at the same time so we can spend some time together. This is great. You want to go play in the, in the grass? It's kind of wet. Pretty and spacious these sites are. Beautiful. 
Yeah, those look like annual sites. And um, I haven't seen the cabins yet. We have done no exploring because it literally poured down rain all day yesterday. And there was no going outside. I'm just gonna go for a little ride through the campground since we didn't get to explore it. We've actually stopped at several places where we just kind of did a layover for a night or two on our way to a place. That place to the right right there has a little pond there too, fishing pond. Or a little lake, whatever they call it. Say hi girls. Hi. <laughs> we just got up this morning, so we're not filming ourselves. Yeah, this is a real simple layout, which we sure appreciate because it's easy to find your campsite, <clears throat> it's easy to find the bathhouses, usually there's one really close, a little birdie bathing in the puddles. Yeah, you hear Mama say little birdie? Looks like there's a lot of full timers here, and I'm guessing because it's really quiet and nice, very large spots. This is a nice big grassy area to the right. Huge. There's another playground. We'll get by there here in a minute. They have their six feet rule posted everywhere on the little posts to remind everyone to not get too close. Okay, now here's where we were standing on the hill earlier when I did the pan around. That's a little hill there. Can't really tell. back. I'm going to go ahead and turn around and drive back there. On our little ride about, we found the laundry. It's up here at the office, which is on the right side over there. And the lodge, which makes me sad to film because really the most fun part of filming these for you guys is like going in and seeing what they have to offer in the lodge and everything. Like libraries and games and like an arcade. Some of them have an arcade. But I'm guessing the laundry is up and running. Let's check it out over here. Oh, this is cute. Oh, wow. Really nice little laundry mat. Boy, they they do everything here to make your stay comfortable and little utility sink here, a little bar sink with you can wash your hands. Let's see how they do have the coin system, which is awesome, and they're cheap, a dollar fifty. That's really good. Yeah, dollar seventy-five for the washers. That's awesome. All right, and then they also have a few dryers over here. They have the big mat in here. It smells nice. It smells really good in here. Super cute. I imagine they have that going up and running like in the summer and like for events and stuff. Except for now, they can't. But this looks like a really cool little lodge. Sad that we can't partake in any of the activities that they usually would have to offer, especially in the summer. If you look real closely, you can see a kayaker or a canoeer out on the lake. There we go. It's a beautiful day for that, nice and cool. 
really, really nice and quiet. And there's a cute lake right there in the middle as well. That's the smaller lake and a little fishing pier. And we're gonna go check out the dog park and the pool. And I see some cabins over there too. One covered bridge. How cute! There's even water underneath. Oh, that is adorable. Why? Because it rained, or because it's so they're supposed to be? <laughs> oh, well, there's a little something or another. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's all about. Here's another bathhouse. Found the giant pavilion right on the center lake, and the basketball court. There's a good little playground. We're driving this tour because, yeah, that's what we Nobody is enjoying the pool today because it's still kind of early. Look how tiny the pool is. <laughs> I mean, I don't see how you could fit more than six people in there comfortably. They have a community garden. It's always fun to see. Not sure what they're, uh, it doesn't look like they're keeping up the garden, but it, there's a bunch of weeds and flowers growing in it. Beyond that little garden, there's a big nice picnic area. Let's go drive through that and check out the cabins. This is their tent camping area because they have fire pits, a grill, and they have the posts numbered. of us we have just the woods. Oh there's a tent camper. Hi. There's some cabins. The screen porch is nice. I guess the bugs here are bad because they're screen porches. Probably rains here a lot. It stays nice and green. Kind of more of your secluded campsites, not quite as large. All right, we're going back to meet the rest of the family so we can take off. The girls were saying, what were you saying about the cabin here? If we got a cabin here, we could have um, left the cabin door open and let Banjo and Cinnamon out onto the deck because it's screened in. Yeah, the little porch. So they can enjoy the sun. Mm-hmm, they would love it. And it's like facing the woods, so there wouldn't be like a bunch of people and he wouldn't be barking all the time, you know? Yeah. All right, we're back on our street. We're gonna go see if the boys are ready and packed up so we can head on down the road. cheese roll-ups. Ethan already ate his. He's in the rig with daddy. We're ready to take off. All packed up and ready to leave. The low clearance bridge if you're coming in to Kennessee Lake from the west. We came in from the east and we called. We uh, were able to avoid the low clearance bridge. It's 10 foot 8 inches, it says. So he tried to go out that way. I just remembered that you can't. So we're going to go ahead and um, head this way. We're going to head back, back here. We're just going to go down, hit 90. Probably going to go through Cleveland. We, we, we are going to go through Cleveland. From there we'll Heading on to our next place for the night. Bridge, but it ain't covered. We're gonna be able to go see one of the covered bridges while we're here in Ashtabula County. I feel like we need to go at least see a little history that they have here. I really wanted to do the tour. 
tour, but yesterday was just not the ideal day for touring anything. So um, we're gonna go do, do that. It's only probably about four more miles from here. Here is Jefferson, Ohio. Cute little town. We're supposed to turn here. Okay. This one's called the Ashtabula County Covered Bridge. There's actually a name for it, the Jefferson. I think it's called the Jefferson Bridge. Right, let's go find out. This is Netra Bridge. Oh, here it is. Full tiny house at the covered bridge. Cute. Clearance is 14.6, so we have plenty of clearance. I think we are like 11.8. We can fit. Bonus, we get to go back. 